Welcome back to One Step Further podcast. We go into things a little bit deeper. We take maybe something you are or are not doing and take them a little bit step further in your life, whether it be personally, uh, professionally, or spiritually. So uh, I'm Justin Arnold with FlexMP. And for those that don't know me, I uh, run a multifaceted training facility. We, we focus more on like close physical therapy and rehab from as young as five and as old as 80. Uh, I also run an online nutrition business. I do some life coaching. At the end of the day, I've been in this game for 15 years, just helping people, loving on people. We brought Lyndon on here. We're going to probably be doing this pretty regularly during uh, this shutdown or whatever you want to call it during Corona. Uh, so Lyndon, why don't you uh, introduce yourself and tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Sure, sure. So uh, my name is Lyndon Dukes. I am owner of Getting It Daily, uh, which is a fitness company in Rochester, New York as well. Uh, we are multifaceted. Uh, we do have personal training and small group training. However, we also have Zumba, yoga, and aerobic uh, step, which is you know, for a lot of people is called extreme hip hop with Phil. Uh, but we have the first business or first uh, version of it here in Rochester, New York, and upstate New York. So that's one of those things that we offer. But I, I am the same as you. Our passions are the same uh, as far as loving people and loving God. So that's why we're here. Uh, to share that with all of you. Yeah, and that's why we're here. And the biggest thing we wanted to talk about, we, we thought about like, man, we can talk about so many things to help people. Of course, I got my kids in the background. So this is the new real, the new world. <laughs> so yeah, we thought we could talk about so much, but we figured let's start at simple morning routines. A lot of people didn't have them. Maybe they're starting to develop them and they still don't know what to do and they're still stressed. So we just want to kind of talk about our morning routine, a little bit about breathing and meditation because that's one big thing that we do. Um, and, and maybe a few other things, keep this about 20 to 30 minutes. So, yeah. Okay. So, Lyndon, why don't you tell the fine folks listening here, watching, whatever, what's your morning routine? So, uh, my morning routine usually consists of a couple different things, uh, but the main being meditation. Uh, meditation, both, both still and moving, first thing in the morning, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Um, I do that because it helps me to keep my sanity. Um, I didn't share this earlier, but uh, I was also in the military. Uh, so part of learning to be grounded or learning to uh, find peace and chaos was learning to find it myself first. Yeah, so, and I think that's great. So we're very similar in that. So my, my routine for those that are listening out there, and just so you know, I don't want anyone to be overwhelmed like they, they do so much. The point is, if you can grab one of these things and add it to your routine, kind of create yep. your own. But we'll go on a little bit deeper. Anyways, yep. my routine is I wake up, I, uh, I listen to some self-affirmations while drinking some morning tea concoction. <laughs> Definitely for the immune system is what it helps. And then I go into um, uh, Bible reading for about 10 minutes. I always have a study plan. I use a Bible app, which is great, especially for those that are new. Uh, there's some great ones. The, the Bible app is popping up that has on you version for about worry or fear. So good stuff there. After that, I go in about 10 minutes of movement mobility. And this is where like typically it's just like moving the kinks out. I am 39 years old, but sometimes I just want to do some push-ups and ab workout. Uh, and then I usually go over my goals, maybe rewrite them, reread them uh, using uh, that. And then after doing uh, my goals, I'll go through some journaling. Thing. Definitely always the first thing I write down is like five things I'm grateful for, especially now. Reminds you how good life can be. And then after that, a uh, little personal development book that I'm reading, anywhere from uh, eight to 12 minutes, just depending on what the clock's looking like at that point. So I try to keep this in under an hour. And then after that, it's on to cold shower time uh, for a lot of uh, benefits there. Uh, mentally, physically, definitely energizes me. If you're curious about cold shower, just Google it. Mine is not for the physical relief that like a lot of athletes do. Mine's more for uh, the energetic release and then also just the uh, immune system. Uh, things like that. So that's kind of like my morning routine uh, for everyone that's listening in. So um, anyways, we're going to talk a little bit by breathing so go over your meditation your breathing why it's important how it could even help people now in this time sure so um one of the things i find myself consistently having to do myself like i said uh you know again i, I don't i share the military thing so people can understand more so what i'm speaking on uh why i'm speaking on it and that know that it's prevalent to their own lifestyles uh but part of my whole problem i should say uh, for when I started like meditation and things of that nature was the fact that I have 
trouble concentrating. So even now, right, like as I'm sitting here, uh, there are 30 different things going on around me. So I have to stop myself from doing. I'm like, yeah, what are you doing right now? You're like clicking. I hear click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like this. It's like this thing that helps to keep me centered, right? But I don't normally do it. I usually like separate things so that way I don't have issue. Yeah, I feel you. But, but what mainly the reason that I've decided to meditate in the first place or focus in the first place was because for me, uh, I almost felt like I was going to be in a place where I couldn't be a good husband and father. So I had to find a place of peace while I was home, even though my mind wasn't peaceful, right? So for me, um, you probably don't remember this. Uh, real long time ago, there was this old movie, this old, uh, this old school movie called Surf Ninjas, right? You remember that? Wait, what was it called? Surf Ninjas. Mm, it sounds familiar, but no, I don't really remember it. Well, well the whole presence, precedence of the movie, was she was like, like, what if I do this, or what if I do that? right like that's how he would uh talk about like his life he, you know he would say things like what if i don't die for this and stuff like that so it led me to a place of understanding mantra yeah right? so so the whole reason i share that is because as a little kid i i was like man that's really cool what if i could speak things into existence right what if i could will uh good things right so the whole reason i i started was because I realized that there was something to using your will to change the things around you. Um, so I started meditation and breathing and techniques because uh, your physical is tied to your mental uh, and, and vice versa. By calming my mind, uh, I found that I had more abilities around me that I needed to do and the things that were more important to me. Uh, I could be a good dad, a good, a good husband, uh, I could also be an amazing, just an amazing human being in general when I was focused. So that's why I started. Awesome. Yeah. And like with meditation, um, he made some really, really good points here. So like for me, like he kind of talked about focus and like I undiagnosed, diagnosed, whatever, ADD, ADHD. I definitely am a hyper guy. And I noticed that the more that I started practicing meditation, how it was able to call me in the morning, in the night, um, in the afternoon, so I could focus more on my family, my kids. Um, and so I meditate over the Bible and I, I meditate in between days, in between my day, like instead of taking a nap, like a lot of people, I find that getting like about a 10 minute meditation, uh, really focusing on the breath has, has really, it feels like, man, I don't need a nap that 10 minutes of just focus on breathing, deep inhales, long exhales, I'll listen, maybe some ocean waves. I felt like I just got a two hour deep sleep. And that's the key. Like, yeah, like, like, and, and even we're reading and you're hearing psychologists talk right now, like that's one of the best things you can do. Like obviously eating healthy, exercising, eating mainly plants. Um, yep. And we might get into that a little bit, but the point is like, <laughs> like long exhales can actually calm the nervous system, can help stress levels in your body and brain. And just, just obviously where a lot of us are stressed out, having anxiety. So that's, what's going to help. But the more your body's stressed, your it actually weakens your immune system. So if we can just do something as simple as like waking up every morning, focusing on inhales, longer exhales, not overcomplicating it, find what works for you. And then doing it like three times a day for like 10 minutes, man, Deepak Chopra too. If you really need like some structure and not sure where to go, Google that's it. There's, there's like a 21 day thing that everybody's doing right now on YouTube. But there's some oh, great stuff. What? I, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, yeah. Some people added me to one. And it's you like it's really cool. I can I can share with you later. I might put a link here if I remember. Cool. But the point is it's like it's a lot of things you and I have already done or do. And it, I mean, like, or some version of it. Um, but yeah, for some people it's very new. But yeah, meditation is definitely huge. Having that morning routine and, and right now when you're like either maybe you're working from home or you got nothing. If you want to still, this is a time for opportunity and, and we feel you need to have structure. So you need to have that morning structure and throughout the day, I'm not saying be busy to be busy, but do things right. to develop yourself. Like for me, it's like, man, I'm going to be a better man and a better father and a better husband and a better friend by personal development book. 
by reading the Bible, by praying. And that's going to keep me calm so my mind can operate better, so I can function better, be more creative, find opportunities, help more people. But if I'm so distracted by like my stress, my bank account, my worry, which happens especially right now, then I can't help others. We couldn't have, Lynn and I would have thought of this idea to connect and help other people and serve other people because we're so worried about ourselves and the money. But like, we want to be able to help. And some of that comes down to just calming ourselves and meditation. Anything yeah, I'd like to, uh, yeah. if you don't mind me interjecting, I'd love yeah, to speak on you. You actually hit a, you hit a valid point. The biggest point about all of this, that what we're doing, what we do on a regular daily basis, is that we do it to be better people. So, mm -hmm. so I know some people frown upon the phrase that is prayer, right? So I speak on in terms of uh, universal uh, when it comes to helping people understand, but I also speak in terms of my own faith when it comes to my own understanding. Yeah. So uh, there's there's different, there's, you know, I, I really do feel like like meditation has been something people have been doing for years and they just have disassociated the fact that certain things are just called something different. So if you pray, just to, just to bring it full circle, if you pray, if you are a prayer warrior, you meditate, right? If you believe yeah. in God and you do different things that, that help you to center, you meditate. Um, I think that's important to notice because a lot of people have asked me and I've been asked those questions before. It's like, well, how do you have such a strong faith, especially with the yoga and the other things? And I'm like, because my faith isn't defined by one action, it's defined by the consistency of my actions through everything else. And that's what makes me who I am. Uh, for lack of a better way to put it, if everyone else followed that rhetoric, they wouldn't have those issues. They would also uh, feel about the different things that you're doing. Um, I find myself personally always having to refer back to the fact that focus is the whole reason I do what I do. You know, I don't yeah. meditate just for fun. I meditate because it really helps me concentrate on being a better person. So, so yeah, yeah, and I think that's key. Like the 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 what you speak about on meditation and why it's important. I think people think it might be a waste of time, but it's also like what you've talked about before in the past about self care. Like we as men look at self care as maybe like taking a shower, lifting weights, getting our bro session in and hanging out with the boys. I don't know. I don't know. What, what, I mean, there are things are a little. Oh, bit I it, man. Yeah, I got you. You need, you need mental clarity and like health is super key. And like, like we think we need to grind, 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 but I've touched on this before. Like, there's been studies done that we take in more information today, especially probably right now in the last couple of weeks, because we want to know what's going on more in a day than we did in an entire lifetime during the 1800s. So just think about that for a second. Like your brain is in overdrive and we're trying to overdrive it even more. Yeah. 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 All the time. You need, you're going to find yourself more energetic, more productive by developing daily habits that start in your morning with some kind of spiritual routine that includes meditation. It's that simple. Trust me. Like it took me a while and we, I didn't start out where like I did all those things I mentioned earlier on. I started with just honestly, just Bible reading meditation and movement. And sometimes it was just repping out like 50 push ups and then reading the Bible before I, and now I have structure in the Bible and I have structure in my morning routine. It just adds to it. And, and, that, and that's, and this is the time to do it. And yep where you probably are going to have at least 21 days to do it, to develop that habit. And if you haven't heard the 21 days, that right. takes about three weeks to start to develop a habit. It really takes about probably, I would say three to four months to really instill it, but at least to get that going, like brushing your teeth and, 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 and things like that. So well, let's talk about, so we talked about the importance of morning routine because everyone's going to think they're going to go to the extreme. Everyone's going to go to the extreme and think that, well, that guy meditates for an hour. I can't do that. That guy meditates for half an hour. I can't do that. Uh, yeah. And don't Buddhists, so, like, I think I was, like, Buddhists don't even do that. Everyone thinks they meditate all day long, but it's only like. No, they, med they do meditate all day long, but they don't meditate consistently all day long. They spend yeah. moments of gratitude, mindfulness, and gratefulness. And, and take those moments and build a practice that lasts all day. Yeah, I think people think they meditate eight hours straight, but I think it's just like a few minutes or 10 minutes on every hour or something. Five, yeah. 10 minutes, 30 minutes here, 10 minutes here, five, two minutes here, 30 seconds here. Yeah. And it just becomes a, a different thing, which actually is a great segue. For so for, for most people who are thinking that they have to do this big thing, listen, I don't care if you get up and pray or not. Uh, as far as what you want to do, as far as being a better person in general. Now, I know that that could be part of it because that's part of my routine, but what we're talking about is setting a routine around you improving yourself. 
So that could be just you getting up in the morning and brushing your teeth and doing it every single day at the same time. It could be you promising to get up at, at four o'clock and really getting up closer to say five, you know, but making sure that you're consistently doing that thing until it becomes a habit for you, because that's really where this stuff comes into play. Yeah. I really believe that. Like if most people would do that, they'd be in a better space. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, like now we're being still overwhelmed and, and like, if you're curious, like even like we talked about, you know, you know, if you wanted to check for the up to date facts, you can literally look on Facebook and find where there's a tab to the right. And we, you just click on that right hand tab. If you want to like look for the actual fact instead of being overwhelmed, you're not looking through every dang article because everybody that I know is posting an article and it seems so apocalyptic and you're hearing everything from we'll be back to normal in two weeks to 18 months. You don't know. We don't know until, and then they don't even know. So the best thing you do is I don't want to say pretend I like, but you need to get in the mindset that this is possibly our current reality, but that doesn't mean life has to stop. In fact, right. it can grow and become better. And we believe whatever you do in your morning is how you set up your life. And everybody's waking up and thinking of something. Right now, people are popping on Facebook, seeing the most depressing stuff, where they're already thinking my life's horrible or it sucks. Trust me, Lynn and I have been here, so we get it. Like, we've been in these positions in our life, so we know it. We've been in hardship. Right. So we can relate. Like, we're, we're not – so we're trying to tell you, like, you're waking up and telling yourself whether you actually hear it, it's subconsciously – it's like, go back to the old normal where you're like, you're waking up, I hate Monday, I hate work, or I hate my husband, or I hate my wife. Or it could be on the joy side of things. And that's why I like starting it with like self-care, being appropriately selfish, as I like to call it, where you're either doing something for yourself to make yourself better. We continue to grow, but it seems like so many times that like age, after college or by age 30, it's like we're just floating. We don't realize that like the learning hasn't stopped. It's only just begun. Correct. And that's why I believe we need to keep it going. So, yeah, I think that I think that the important part people understand is that we're talking about setting routine in general or creating habits in your life that are, of course, for your success. Uh, routine is is just that. It's you know, it like like yes, I am a yogi. Yes, I I am a practicing yogi. So that I do meditate, things of that nature. But first of all, I'm a man of I'm a man of God. I'm a man of faith first. Um, and I think a lot of people don't understand that they should correlate my faith with wavering every single day. It's not some perfect thing where I wake up and I've just, you know, I've always got this unshakable faith. By building routine around my faith, I have allowed myself to be more successful, right? Yeah. I've allowed myself to have conversations because I've read the Bible, right? Like I've taken that time to set it aside to educate myself things that the Bible has to offer and what that means for uh for, for my so you know uh I know in other countries people are surprised by how little um Christians actually know about the Bible they profess to believe in. Yeah but in places it's not that way, right? But that's because they spend time studying things. So what if part of your routine because you do believe in God you want to be a better you know you want to be a better father, a better husband and you believe that what, what God has told you is the truth, what if you took the time out to make part of reading that Bible that you know you believe in part of your routine? How much would your life change? Yeah, exactly. So um, is there? Any, that's kind of like what we want to get at. We hope you guys got a lot of this. Sorry, I lost a video here. For some reason, I'm going to Zoom, but we still got audio. And we just want you to look at any of this today. And if you got one thing out of it, um, we want you to take one of those things, like, for example, like, if you found one thing beneficial in the morning routine, like, take something. Maybe it just starts out with some 10 minutes of movement or mobility. Uh, just take one thing and start advancing. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to Lyndon or I. And then from a spiritual, if you're exploring, because a lot more people are exploring their spiritual realm now. So yeah. definitely, like, reach out, but then please reach out. Version, yeah. Or, like, like, if you're dealing with depression or sadness, you could literally go to Google type in Bible depression and verse, and you'll see a ton of concordance and verses that lead to that. So there's always a way to lead it. Even if you don't believe anything, trust me, now is a time to look for something to get you through it. If you're alone sitting in your house and you've got nobody, then the one person you can reach to is the one that you can't see. And that's who we call our Lord and Savior. 
Um, and so we encourage you to do that. Anything you want to add to that, Lyndon? Yeah, I, I think that most people, if they if you just take the time to encourage, you realize, uh, you know, I actually had this talk this morning with my wife, um, that a lot of people are looking for this motivation or this, you know, let me, let me pop on, like, people have made Facebook part of their routine because people post these quotes and other things. They're just looking for a way to be a better person. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm going to challenge what you believe that looks like this morning by simply saying to you, uh, what if the way that looks changes a little bit now it's not wrong it's not right but what if you read your bible instead right instead of simply hopping on facebook for that type of motivation what if what if you were that motivation yeah uh, be the light right now find ways to serve and help that's right that's right and if and if you you know if you take your time to read something you know there's positive because you believe in it so heavily and you might actually get something around more so around the answers you're looking for mm -hmm. and and you know what for lack of a better way to put it <laughs> most of the time exactly what you're looking for god has already given you that's why he's yes. not answering our prayer right so if, if we talk about that fact like if you're looking for things and trying to find what is for you um in those things but it's already in here that's why you can't find it mm -hmm. so if you're having trouble being motivated try spending time with the universe and yourself so you can find that motivation you need. For sure, for sure, man. I think that's great. And, and again, so if people want to get a hold of you or reach out to you or find you, what are some ways? Okay, so you can always reach out to me via uh, all forms of social media, uh, but the ones we are most prevalent on is Facebook and Instagram. Um, I am GID Linden, or my company is Getting It Daily. Um, if you are looking to message me or talk to me directly, you can do so there. We also have a website, getitdonefit.com. Again, I'll say that sure, getitdonefit.com, one word, where you guys can reach out and also ask us questions. Um, I think that, uh, I hope that when you read this message today, that they find that motivation to habits and routines. Yeah, and if you want to get a hold of me, uh, I'll put some of these links below for both him and I. You can find me at FlexMP, F L E two X's at XXMP on Instagram, flexmp.com at Justin Arnold with an E N C so J U S D E N um, Arnold. And uh, same thing on Facebook, Twitter, all of that. And then we're going to be putting this on YouTube. We got our, I got a YouTube channel and then we're going to be putting it on uh, about six, six different um, places. You can listen or see it for podcasts. The only one that's not on yet is iTunes. So hopefully we'll have that one soon. Nice. But, uh, man, this is a real pleasure. If you really like to give it a thumbs up, if you think this could help somebody, just like spreading, like, the corona, if we could spread some positive vibes, this one's definitely going to do it. Even if it doesn't help you, I'm sure you know some people this could actually serve. Um, and we're going to be be talking about um, maybe uh, in about – we're going to try to make this weekly, so tune in. We're looking at next week to talk more about – the tough times that Linda and I've been through and how we're able to get through this mentally and emotionally and physically and be there for others that are going through it and why we know we're going to come out on top and better than before in this deep valley it seems that we're in and we're going to hit some high peaks right Lyndon I love it man yeah, sorry you can't see me there's my handsome son uh technically yeah. we're still going to put this one out there but this is our second yeah. take for those that don't know we had another one yeah. we had some technical issues we're tired of it we just want this to get out so you guys can hopefully absorb it and benefit from it. Well, yes, thank yes. you for tuning in. And Lennon, if you don't have anything else, man, it's been a real pleasure. And no, man, it's been great. All this. Okay. Thank, thank you for inviting me. I look forward to doing it again. For sure.